we've known for a very long time that radiation is a very effective tool, probably, and this might be controversial to say, one of the most powerful tools that we have for lymphoma because many of these different types of lymphomas are very radio sensitive and respond great to radiation, even when you have patients with chemo refractory disease. Um, the challenge has been trying to minimize toxicities um, especially long-term uh, side effects. And so I think that's where the trepidation and reluctance comes in from utilized radiation in some settings. Um, however, we've really, um, you know, radiation has kind of been an evolution and treatment approaches, a lot of modernization in the way that we approach treatment now. Um, our fields are smaller. The way that we do our planning uh, and delivery has changed from intensity modulated radiation therapy to use of proton therapy with the ultimate goal being not to make the radiation work better, right? It's already effective. The ultimate goal of all of these technologies is trying to minimize the bystander effect or limit radiation dose to the surrounding normal tissues. And we have a lot of ways that we're able to do that. And so I think the future for radiation um, continues to be um, in the frontline setting, especially for like in this situation, we're talking about patients with orbital B cell lymphoma, utilizing smaller doses um, and and I mean, that's, and smaller doses are, are key um, for in the refractory setting, you know, combining radiation with cellular therapies. Um, it's really exciting, a lot of exciting work and interest at the um, ASTRO conference this year, many abstracts and, present and oral presentations regarding radiation therapy combined um, with CAR T-cell therapy, whether that's in a bridging setting, whether that's for salvage therapy in patients that relapse immediately after CAR T-cell therapy. So I think there's two different directions that we're going in, you know, radiation and the refractory space, which perhaps is underutilized. Um, but in the frontline setting, increased recognition that we are able uh, to really minimize normal tissue exposure, which I think will translate into significantly decreased long-term toxicities. Um, which which hope which is great for our patients, and I think as we in, um, begin to recognize that, um, then radiation will start to be reincorporated in settings where it may have been abandoned previously.